the channel. Sitting behind me as always is my 300 SRT8 2006 and today I'm going to be cleaning the car. Uh, the weather's finally gorgeous over here and uh, car shows are starting up and I'm actually going to go to one tomorrow morning so I'll hopefully get some footage for you guys to show you what kind of cars are there. It's, uh, it's a Mopar car show so I'm going to see a lot of Challengers, Chargers, 300s, um, AMCs, all the old stuff too is going to be, it's going to be a good time. So. But today guys, I need to clean up this car because it's extremely dirty and uh, I'll just show you what it looks like right now. All right, so as we proceed to showing how dirty the car is, nice layer of dust on this guy right here. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, pretty dusty. Um, not, not happy with myself, but I haven't cleaned it once this year since I took it out of storage. So still some bug, uh, bug guts on it there from a couple drives I did with it this year. Haven't cleaned it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give it a good a good bath with the foam cannon and stuff. Let's see if you can see a lot of dust up here. Hard to tell, but it, there's a lot. There's a good uh, there's a good layer of dust on it. So we're gonna clean it up, make it all nice and pretty for tomorrow, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I use to clean the SRT8 with. All right, now heading over to the little workbench I got. Excuse the mess. Um, so this is my pressure washer that I'm going to be using today. It's the Stanley 2150. Works great. The soap of choice for today is going to be the Snow Foam Car Wash. Uh, works great with the Foam Cannon chemical guys. Now, like I said, I'm not a professional detailer, so I, to me, this stuff works good. Does its job right. Uh, it doesn't bust the bank. I think it's like $10, $10 for this, so it lasts a couple years anyways. Um, this is the... The foam gun that I'm going to be using, Chemical Guys, great quality, brass fittings on it. You can adjust the amount of bubbles or whatever that you want to have come out of there. I already mixed it up, so you got a soap and soap and water mix solution. Uh, obviously, can't go wrong with some micro, microfiber cloths. It's going to be in the um, once I rinse off the car, just to do like the door panels and stuff. Got a wash mitt here because I'm actually going to use it on my car. Um, now I don't scrub the car. I just kind of glide this over the paint so no like, you know, if any micro scratches happen It's very very minimal. Uh, I wash this every single time that I use it. So I feel comfortable enough using this And the last thing that I do is I dry the car with this mammoth towel. I believe it's called from chemical guys Pretty big towel cleans off or dries off the car um, without having to wring it out or anything and uh, yeah, my pressure washing gun is outside, but it's the one that fits with this machine right here. So uh, just uh, just to, to inform you guys to, to not have any water spots on a black car when you're washing it in the sun is to keep the car wet at all times. It's a little pro tip there for anybody that has a black vehicle that struggles with water spots on the car. So when I record myself cleaning the car, you're gonna see me, I'm gonna use a snow. First, I'm gonna rinse it off with just water. Um, then I'm gonna use the cannon on it. Uh, then I'm gonna like, you know, wipe or rinse it down, wipe it down, do a little, uh, pass it over with my, um, my wash mitt. Uh, but you're gonna see that like the car is gonna stay wet the entire time. That's what you need to have happen in order to not have any water spots on the car where the sun's gonna dry it and it's gonna stay on the paint. So without further ado guys, let's start up this bad boy. Let's get it outside and let's start cleaning it. And of course, guys, I can't start the car without showing you guys the exhaust.
Hey guys. All right, so this is the day after now. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. The sun is shining. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Uh, got the car nice and clean, obviously you can see. Um, waxed it, gave it a good scrub. Uh, vacuumed the inside. The car is looking immaculate. So uh, we're gonna go to a restaurant first, gonna get some breakfast. And after that, we're gonna cruise down to the car show. So I'll take you guys with me for that. So sit back and enjoy. All right guys, we are back in the garage after a nice day at the car show. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the footage. I couldn't even get a quarter of the cars on footage just because my phone died, but I mean, hopefully you guys saw something that you liked. Um, but yeah, so 
Car's back in the garage. We are gonna shut her down for the night. And uh, yeah, she's due for another extreme cleaning because uh, she is covered once more in pollen and in dust and in just about anything you can imagine. So definitely gonna have to watch that again. There you go. Look at that just yeah that's just from sitting out there for for a few hours so I'm gonna be cleaning that again very shortly and let me know if you guys enjoyed the video it's kind of like a vlog more than like a, a regular video that i'll post uh lots of things happened in the past few days so i said why not make a vlog about it let me know what you guys think and i will catch you guys in the next video later